what's going on? Kate McShay here, and I'm coming to you from my home office in Vancouver, Washington. Hope that you're doing well and you're having a great day. So what I wanted to speak to you about today is something that I feel like you could use for coaching your teammates, you could use for when you're talking on the phone to your prospects or face-to-face -face with your prospects, um, as well as just kind of in your everyday life when you are trying to have a discussion or offer some you know, constructive criticism to someone else um, without having the conversation go south. Okay, so let's just, I wanted to ask you a question. Have you ever had an argument with a spouse, with a, you know, sibling, friend, or, you know, one of your children, and it kind of turns into that, well, you told me you never do this, and then the person goes, no, I never said that, or I do that, blah, 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 and you never do this, and you guys are just pointing the fingers at each other, and then somebody at some point, and you may, you know, shake your head, yes, you can laugh a little bit, because I've been there too, you get that, are you listening to me, I feel like you never hear me, blah, 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 blah. and it turns into an argument, well, what I wanted to do is I wanted to offer you a couple of suggestions on how to kind of shift that conversation so that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen with, you know, in your regular daily life. It doesn't happen at work with a coworker, a, you know, a prospect if you're working this business or whatever business you're working, as well as, um, as when you're coaching a teammate because sometimes that can happen as well. So what I wanted to offer to you is I wanted to give you a couple tips to make people feel like you are listening. And if you do need to give constructive criticism or feedback or a suggestion to, to make it more, uh, how do you say it? To make people feel like it's not like you're jumping down their throat, okay? So let me throw these out here. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you today is I'm reading a book called Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg. A uh, really great book, and you know the chapter I'm on today is really talking about how to get people to feel like you're listening to them, and I wanted to offer you a couple of these tips. So let's hop right into it. So, so often people are so focused in on themselves and what they can get out of the conversation, or they let the person talk, but the whole time they're waiting to jump, waiting to jump to pitch their product, pitch, uh, pitch their business opportunity. Um, or, you know, just, just throw in their feedback or what they really want them to do rather than listening. So I'm going to tell you to stop. Stop doing it. Stop focusing on you and focus on them. Listen to them. You have to be an active listener. And to be an active listener, you need to do these things. So you focus on them. Ask them those open-ended questions. How do you? What have you? What are your thoughts on blank? Just why, you know, those questions starting with how, what, why. Those are great ways to open somebody up, get them to really start talking. Then you stop talking and just listen. Focus on them. You can take notes while you do. Just kind of get a couple of little, you know, pieces that you want to speak to further on in the conversation. So after you listen to them, you get an idea, they stop talking. Then, this is really important because a lot of people don't do this. They just move on to the next question. And it's okay to repeat back to them what they said and get them to say yes. So a great sentence starter for that is, it sounds like you are blank and then just repeat back exactly what they said. Then say, am I right? And get them to say yes. Because if they say no, then you missed something that they said or they will clarify what the, the point they were trying to get across. Um, and then you can go back, you can ask them another question, listen to, them, listen to them a little bit more, repeat back to them what they said, again, get them to say yes. If you feel like you're at that point now where you want to start giving them feedback, if that's the way that your, you know, your coaching session is going with your teammate, or even with your prospect, it's great to offer them a little bit of feedback before you, you know, build that rapport a little bit, build that authority. This is so important and so many people don't do it. Get their permission first. So say, hey, um, I was wondering, would you be open to me just giving you a little bit of feedback on blank, 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 so on whatever they said. So I was wondering, I feel like since you said that you, blank, 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 I was wondering, have you ever tried blank and offer them the feedback? Okay, but you've got to get their permission first. So just make sure that you say, because I know I went right into repeating the statement, that's not what you're supposed to do, but get their permission first. Hey, would you be open to me giving you a little bit of feedback on what you said about blank? Or can I offer you, 
you know, just a suggestion on blank. And get them to say yes, because if they say no, they don't want your advice, and it's just going to make them upset, and it's going to drive the conversation south. You want to kind of keep it going. You want to keep it positive, right? You want to keep it constructive. So just get their permission first. Then again, you're throwing out those sentence starters like, I was wondering, have you ever tried blank because you said, and repeat their statement again. And you're just getting them talking again. You're coaching them. You're giving them advice. But that is so different than you, number one, not listening to them, and then throwing out that, well, you said, or I feel like you, blah, blah, blah. And you're not getting their permission. Therefore, they're not comfortable with accepting advice from you. And then it turns into that defensive conversation where you both feel like you have to defend each other's you know, your own statement and nothing comes from it. So really, all I wanted to do today is I just really wanted to kind of just give you a few tips on, on seeing if you're actually, when you go back and you self-reflect on some of the stuff that you do every single day, are you really listening to your prospect? Are you really listening to your teammate? Are you trying to see what they need and then you can offer them the feedback? Or are you just looking at that feedback, that suggestion, that pitch before you even get on the phone with them, before you even know what you want? So I just recommend that this is a great way to kind of start creating some posture, some posture, some you know authority, some leadership um, from a leadership standpoint. And I just encourage you to try it out. See if it works for you. So leave a comment if this is something that you're already currently doing. You can also leave a comment if you don't agree with me and uh, you feel like what you're doing right now is working better and you can share that with us. The one other thing I wanted to tell you is that below this video, I'm going to give you a phone number as well as a passcode. And all that is, is it's a mindset phone call that happens Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. It's something that I try and hop on every single day, even when I'm over here on the West Coast, 8 o'clock in the morning. And a lot of these terms, a lot of things that I share with you, I get from those mindset calls. So if that's something that you feel like you'd have time to hop on and just listen to, get a little extra boost for your day, uh, just check out that phone number down below and you just got to dial a phone number, put in your passcode, and then you'll be able to hop on to that mindset call. So I hope this gave you a little bit of value, a little bit of perspective, a little bit of reflection on are you actually listening to whoever the person is you're talking to. So have a great day, take care, and come back and visit soon. Bye.